Coach, what does a night like tonight mean to you? Um, it means a lot, you know, to not to not play in the postseason for eight years and to come here with a great with great crowd. So um, everybody did their job and got the fans here, but we didn't have our A game for sure. It was ugly. I, I think besides the first five minutes of the game, we played we did not play a good game. But the thing is, um, we looked like we haven't played in two weeks, and we looked a little rusty. We were forcing shots. We looked exhausted after the first few minutes, but. Um, I've never met a win I don't like, so <laughs> so happy we, we got a win. We play hard. You gotta be happy with that free throw. To be the first coach to get a win, that coach has been in 14 years. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, um, feels good. So now the win feels a little bit better. Um, no, it feels good. I just, you know, I wish we would have played a little bit better. Um, but I'm proud of our fight. I just, we were a little bit tense after the first couple of minutes. We looked really tired which we're not, we're, we're a very fit team. I, I just think it's exams and a lot of, you know, we've had a lot of sick players, so that's not an excuse by any means. And I think credit to Idaho State because they punched us in the face big time in the second half. We had, they had us on our heels and they did a really good job. So just want to see a little bit better basketball on Sunday. Is that the situation with Dominique? She was sick. Yeah, she's sick and a couple other players have had strep. Um, you know, Kate just got over strep and, she, well, she's not over strep. She, has strep, um, not anymore, but you know, we've had a lot of people sick, so, including myself. I've been sick for about six months straight. I get rid of it, get it back, it's just, it's awful. In the first half, it was really um, sort of the youth movement. It was Kate came on really strong, Bryce got good minutes, Samaje was doing things. They almost didn't look like freshmen. They, they turned did. the corner. Yeah, they, I, thought, I thought Bryce gave really good minutes. I thought Samaje gave really good minutes, and I wish I could have played Samaje more. It's just when they are so guard heavy, it's, I'm asking a 6'6 six, six kid to guard a really versatile guard, especially when 11 was out with foul trouble, so the matchups were hard. But I, I wanted to find minutes for her um, in the game. I thought she played really good. I thought rebounding, she caught the ball. I thought she ran the floor. I thought she did well in defense. She got beat one time off of a plug. But um, she kept the ball high, finished. So she's doing, she's applying the things we work on every day. So I was really proud of her. And Bryce didn't look like a freshman either. Right, and Bryce, there was a, there was a point in the, in the first half where Bryce got a steal and she had, did an outlet pass to Kate and Kate finished up and it was like, that's the future. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think our freshmen, they're growing, they're getting more experience. And remember, we've lost some close games to some really good teams. So I think all of that is paying off. Um, and I'm just, I'm just proud. That's why I'm proud of the fight. I thought that Kate had an awesome game tonight. Um, she was a point away from her career high, and she really kept this going when Ari wasn't playing her game. I think Ari was forcing a little bit, and I think she was just trying to make the game come to her, and just looked a little bit tired. But Ari's still, you know, Ari doesn't play good, and she has, you know, 15 points, I think. So, um, you know, she'll play better. And TT usually hits a little bit more free throws. And I thought Destiny missed a lot of chippies around. But 10 for 10 from the free throw line, that's pretty awesome. Um, and I thought Ari did a really good job when she wasn't scoring in the first half. She was finding post players. Now, some of the passes were really hard to catch. But I thought she did a really good job. I think she fed Destiny at least four times, probably Kate two or three times. So that's what a great player does when they're not scoring. They're able to find their teammates. So she did a great job of that. Lucia came out and she played a lot of minutes today. She hasn't really played that much, and she got a couple big threes. Yeah, and I and I probably would have played her more at the end, but I, I she hasn't played a lot in a while, so I wanted to make sure you know we have her good on Sunday, and she played really good. Lucia um, is able to calm us a little bit, and it, it when she's in the game, it enables me to put Ari at the two a little bit, so run some stuff to Ari, but not have Ari with the ball for 40 minutes. So I thought Lucia played really good. Um, I thought Sam Thomas didn't play bad. She played great defensively, but it wasn't her offensive night. You know, usually she had kind of some uncharacteristic turnovers, but she usually doesn't have those things. So I think she'll play better. But I was happy. We've really struggled from the, um, the free throw line. And tonight to be 81%, I mean, we haven't probably been 81% the whole season. I mean, the free throw line was a struggle this year and for some reason. Talk about, uh, they had several chances to come back. And you ratcheted up the defense. I noticed that half-court trap really kind of threw them off a little bit of their rhythm. So yeah. Well, and our, so our zone press in the second half, we didn't do well. So they were flashing and they got some layups, so we had to take it off. I think our man press is working, but it's hard to do that when Titi's not in the game. Or certain lineups, we're just not, we don't have pressing lineups. So um, 
you know, I, I thought they missed some shots, but they had open looks, and they were getting us on back cuts, and that's how they came back. I think they cut it to within seven, and we just were giving them open threes, not communicating. I thought we looked a little bit tired and just kind of miscommunication, but they move a lot, and that's why it's also a challenge because we've played totally different teams for the past three months. The Pac-12 is completely different. The style is really different. Um, they, they're more cutting. You know, they don't have a traditional post player that posts up. So it's just a lot of back cuts, flashes, and you got to get hit by back screens left and right and back cuts. And it's just, it's just a different style of basketball, and, and they're a good team. I mean, they've won 20 games, so they know how to win. What do you think about just the overall atmosphere today and what, uh, what you're hoping for on Sunday? I thought, I'm hoping for 5,000 fans, um, but I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great for the program, um, great for the city. I mean, we had 2,500 tic pre-sold tickets. We've never had that. Um, and I think that the crowd sounded like it was more than 3,300. It sounded like there was five or 6,000. I thought they were enthusiastic. They stayed. Um, they weren't booing when we were playing bad, so that was good. Um, but I thought they were into it and passionate and super excited. And I'm excited to see that because I don't think people have been excited about Arizona women's basketball for a long time. And so to see that, and I think we're going to have more on Sunday. And we made it at 3 o'clock so people can go to church and do their thing, then come. So that was strategic. Any other questions for Coach? No? Okay, thanks, guys. For Kate and Jesse? For both of you, just what was it like to playing in the postseason and then coming out with a win? It's a good feeling, and it also just shows how much, how far we've come, especially from the beginning of the season. I mean, even though we, you know, we struggled a little bit today playing them compared to the first time, I, I think we've just, we fought, and, you know, they had some runs. And um, we stopped them, and you know we scored on offense when we needed to. So. Jesse, obviously you've been here a long time. Do you know that it's been 14 years since this program has won a Uh Honestly, I did not, and that's actually a really long time. But I mean, I'm actually glad to be here. It being my last year, and I'm just glad that I'm here with these group of girls. What does a win tonight do for this program, and you know, doing do for building the program under Coach Barnes, in your opinion, for either of you? I think that um, it kind of sets the tone. Um, I think just this win kind of uh, makes kids want to come here. Um, high caliber, high caliber players. Um, I think it's also just setting history too for the school, for the women's basketball team. Justin, what did you see out of your freshmen tonight? It seemed like they, you guys didn't play like freshmen today. You played like upperclassmen. What did you think about that? Um, I think Kate is going to play like Kate. Um, I think she's kind of pretty much been like that the whole season. Um, she can be 0 for 20 and just keep going and going, and that's what I love about her so much. She never gives up. She's so aggressive on both ends. Um, and I think she's gotten way better on defense, too. And what about Bryce and, uh, and Samaje have big games, too? Oh, yeah, Samaje. Um, I'm really proud of her because uh, i kind of been getting on her in practice. And I was proud how she kept the ball high. She got really key rebounds. Um, Bryce came in to shoot, because that's like her role, shoot or shoot. And um, I think that they, as a collective, the three freshmen played really well today. Kate, with no Dominique, did you feel like you had to maybe set the tone a little bit tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, I felt like I had to step up a little bit more. Um, Destiny helped me out a little bit, which was good. Um, I think that, you know, Dominique brings something, you know, she's really aggressive on defense. And so as a whole, not just me, we all had to step up on defense. And um, I think we did. Um, there were some times where we kind of slacked off a bit and we need to work on that. But overall, I think we all stepped up pretty well. What, was, what were the struggles when you went through that kind of six and a half minute stretch there in the second half when you guys couldn't get the buckets? I don't know if it was the fact that we hadn't played in a while or just that we were tired, I don't know. But I mean, we got together. I mean, we knew we had to get a stop and we got it at the right time and we, we took back the momentum. Destiny, have you ever gone 10 for 10 for the free throw line in the game? Um, I think, okay. I wanna say last year against Colorado at home, I probably went like nine for 10, maybe 10 for 10, but uh, this, is, this might be my first time going 10 for 10. <laughs> was that finally you guys were able to hit your free throws? You've been have, struggling with that for a while. Uh, me personally, Morgan always tells me to bend my knees, so I was more focused on bending my knees, and I think that probably helped too. <laughs> I think it's just in the back of our mind, you know, games we could have won if we would have been better at our free throws, and so like 
every practice. She emphasizes free throws at the beginning of practice and the practice, and I think that's really helped us out. Any other questions? Did you guys happen to see that video the NCAA put out about <laughs> student athletes? What, what are your thoughts on that? I think that was a really bad mis misinterpretation of what student athletes really do and what we really go through. Um, if my day was like that, I would love it, <laughs> but it's not. So it's so much harder than that, so much more tiring, so much more work. Um, <laughs> it's not at all how or what we do. I just think that it's different for every sport, you know, and you don't really know what an athlete goes through unless you're an athlete. So I just think that it's hard to show that. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good quarter. Nice game. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Okay.